This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. of America. Hey, right over there. Wait a minute. Right over there. There we go. Is is Steve Kravitz, ladies and gentlemen. Stephen Kravitz. If we want uh, to be, either way is fine. If we want to be popular, uh, uh, popular about it. If we want to be particular about it, it's Stephen Kravitz. Well, correct. Now, when your parents... Uh, let me turn my air conditioner up here a little bit. When your parents um, uh, referred to you uh, admonishingly Right. Was it Stephen? Oh, yeah. Stephen J. Oh, Stephen J. Yes. Stephen yes. J. You stopped doing that, Stephen J. That's correct. Right. Right. Okay. I just wanted to know about that. So if I ever have to admonish you, I can, you know. That is correct. Happy New Year, Alex. Happy New Year. And uh, uh, we're coming up on uh, Rosh Hashanah. No, we just did Rosh Hashanah. We're coming it, up on Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. That's how bad a Jew I am. Right, yeah. right, right. First, like last week we celebrate, and this week we atone. So I guess this week we filled with sins. So you get Why to, not, right? Yeah, you get to feel good, then you get to feel bad. Right, right, for, for a day and not eat. Yeah, it's a very depressing holiday, by the way. Right, just, right, Just right. unrelentingly uh, 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 depressing. Uh, yeah, there's the, you know the prayer for the dead in there and the whole deal. They sing, the, just, col, they sing the Kol Nidra, yeah, which is a the prayer, the song for the dead. Really, it's a prayer and song for the dead. Right, right, and, right, and, right, and, right. And good, that's nice, great. We're talking to the dead. That's right. Those wacky Jews. You know, actually, I always you know always bother me about these holidays where you you remember the dead, or or even when they have like you know nine eleven, is so unrelentingly depressing. Yes. You yes. know that I'm wondering what it does to people who were affected by nine eleven, and whether they feel good about having it rubbed in their faces again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying because I, I would not want that. Yeah, you lost a loved one, right? Jumped out of a building because it was on fire. Okay. Yeah, uh, do you remember? Do you, were, were you awake when it happened? What was I awake? Did no, you see it live? No, I was. With the I was jumping awake. out of the building. I was. A, I was awoken. Right. But, so you saw the second plane. Here's what happened. My friend Shecky right called me. At six o'clock in the morning, I'm going. What the hell did he call me at six o'clock in the morning for? I didn't have to get up till like, like eight to get to work by nine. Okay, right. but he's calling me at six. What's he calling me at six for? And I pick up the phone, and he says, "Turn on your TV set." And I turn on the TV set, and I go, "My God, that's the World Trade Center. It's on fire. Right, it's right, on, right, on right. fire." He says, "Yeah, a plane hit it." Right. And I went, wow. And as I'm sitting there watching this, the second plane hits. Right. Do you want to know my opinion of why they were um, 18 minutes apart? Why? Because when the first plane hit, we just got it on a few few networks. You know what I mean? We just got, like, basically, you know, iPhone footage and, you know, Taurus footage and security camera. When the second one hit, 18 minutes later, we had all the networks down there because of the first one so it got more coverage that's oh, why oh, I think yeah. it took 18 minutes yeah we have very little footage of that first one hitting right, there, right we do right, have right. some we have one because somebody was doing a documentary on the uh, fire department right and they had right, a camera right. crew out there and they just shot up there and they caught it but right. the second one everybody had going by the way you that's right there. You mentioned you mentioned uh, their camera phones. Uh, we didn't really have camera phones back then. You know, 
That's uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, actually, we. Uh, I think the. Uh, oh, what do you call it? The uh, the uh, iPhone didn't hit till about. God, I'm trying to think. I was here in New York, so I came back to New York. I'm trying to remember exactly when it was, but I'm I'm I'm. I'm remembering something like uh, uh, maybe 2005, 2006. Really? Yeah, it was the iPhone. Yeah. Uh, so prior to that, we didn't. Yeah, even but have that. prior to that, we had flip phones. We had flip phones, but they weren't really cap. We didn't think of them as as things you. You uh, video. You, you could take a picture with them, but you couldn't really video. Yeah, and the picture was kind of a thumbnail picture. It wasn't that right. good. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. Today, today, I'm about to buy a new iPhone because the new one uh, actually has cinematic quality. You're gonna buy the iPhone 13? Yep. Well, I'm. What's that gonna run you? Well. I let me see here. First of all, I get a trade in on my old phone. Right. Okay. So it's probably not going to cost me any more than the other one did per month. So you know, it's time for right. A new Why one. not? It's time for a new one. Uh, oh, hold on. What, you, what do you think of the Samsung flip phones? By the way, Where? in case people are wondering what just popped up, uh, I I immediately went with this new. Uh, 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 upgraded my iPhone, my excuse me, my uh, my computer. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. And oh, all kinds of things are coming up in front here. Anyway, <laughs> it it, uh, it I I upgraded my operating system on my computer, and so therefore right. it comes up popping up asking me all kinds of questions. Right. Yeah, do you want this to be recorded to this, to this, to this? And uh, it's driving me nuts. And part of it is coming up on the screen that people are watching. Oh, really? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, where were we? Uh, iPhone. I oh. iPhone. Yeah. So no. So it's it's time. I I got one about two and a half years ago, something like that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I have an Android. And I wouldn't get a new iPhone if it weren't for the fact that I use it for video. I shoot most of my video now using the iPhone. And you know how... Oh, is that right? I was always big, in, big into, take, into taking video. So I took video, and it's, uh, you know, it, it, the new one is better than the old one. Right, you're buying a $1,200 video camera with a phone attached to it well the thing is when they when they uh, debut the new one they don't go by the way your calls will be clearer right right i right. never hear that in their description of the new phone no they don't really talk about the phone they talk about the camera capability they talk about the camera capability right. exactly so you're buying you're buying a thousand dollar camera with a two dollar phone yeah and they say by the way this is 5g oh well good and that's it. Right. That's in passing. Right, 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 right. I got a new iPad just recently, and it's supposed to have 5G, and it doesn't pick up 5G. It says 5GE, which is not exactly 5G. So I don't know. I don't know. I got, I got 5GE, a, what, that comes up on the screen? Yeah, I got to call AT&T and find out why. It's, yeah. Is that who you're with? Yeah. Are you happy with them? Well, you know, they're like any other phone company. They're all assholes. Right, 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 yeah. right, 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 and, right. And, right. It, and it used to be, I'll tell you, it used to be that when you would when you would call them, you would get immediate service. Oh, we're so right. happy to serve you. Glad you called. You, we couldn't be happier. How's when they're your, a startup. How's your when they're a there? startup, Alex. Now... I'm lucky if I can understand the language they're trying to speak. You know, I called right. I called AT and T the other day to have to turn on the iPad because somehow they couldn't turn it on at the Apple Store. There's another one. Shouldn't they be able to turn it on at the Apple Store? Well, aren't the aren't the uh, people that work there called Apple geniuses? Yep, they sure are. You know, that's going to be big news to Einstein. Okay? Yeah. You know, yeah. I, yeah. I love it when they take a term and they cheapen it. 
uh, you know, boy, that guy's a real baseball genius. What? Right, right. What? What? You apply genius to the term baseball player? I don't understand that. You know, oh boy, at Al Pacino, he's a real genius. What? <laughs> you know, I mean, I just don't understand how, why we cheapen what should be very special terms only applied to right. very special right. situations right. and individuals. Right. So you go to the Apple store and now you've got a whole bar full of geniuses. Right, genius is about a C plus. It, well, genius is about whether you can turn your phone on or not. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. The genius bar. There was an old joke on. Hey, don't you have to make an appointment? Uh, yes. Oh, that was the other part. I got to tell you what I went through the other day. So I decide. Look, I decide I want a new iPad. Okay, my right. old iPad is maybe four or five years old. Okay. Okay. And the new iPads are sufficiently better. They've got a faster chip in them. Uh, they the every everything about them is better. Okay. Okay. No, no question about it. Better. So I want to get a new iPad. So I figure I'll just go down to the uh, Apple store and I'll look at them and say, I want to buy that. And they'll go, fine, great. And, and by, that, that, that deal's over. By the way, I want to turn in my old one for like 170 bucks so I can get a little off on this and whatever. And the guy says, do you have an appointment? And I go, to buy something? Right. Well, you have to have an appointment. Otherwise, you could go downstairs and just buy it, but we don't turn it on for you or do anything. And I'm going, wait a minute. I want to buy something here. Right, right, shouldn't right, right, go, right, right. Shouldn't right. you be going, where's your credit card? You know? Right, 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 and, right. Instead, I'm getting this. You, you, you have to make an appointment. When's the next appointment? Two and a half hours from now. Right, right, and right. I'm midtown. I have nothing to do for two and a half hours. What do I do? You know? Right, right, right. So I said to him, forget it. And then I went back to the guy and I said, you know, I've been buying Apple products for 20 years now. Right. I said, but this is the last one I'm going to buy. I said, because this is not the kind of service I expect out of Apple. You know, Apple acts like they're all touchy-feely and we're the touchy-feely company. You have to make an appointment to buy something from them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, isn't that ridiculous? Yes. Isn't and, that ridiculous? And, and, and by the way, Miss, you're going to have to make an appointment to blow me. You know right. I mean? right, 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 right. Mm. I mean, I just, I, it, it just irritated the hell out of me. You know, so finally I decided to go to another Apple store and I went online and I made an appointment and they could see me at least a half hour earlier than the other one could. And since I was home already, time had passed. And so I went over to the other place and I bought it. And then they couldn't turn the goddamn thing on. Wasn't that the whole reason for getting the appointment? Yeah, so then I, I go, okay, fine, you can't do that, that's fine. Uh, what do I have to do? You have to call. Uh, you have to call AT and T. Well, there's another problem. <laughs> okay. Right. 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 And I get somebody from some foreign country. She obviously isn't here. Okay. And it's like, uh, what, what can we do for you? You know. And I, uh, I want to turn on my my iPad. It's not turning on. You know. So finally, I she did. Well, she wound up doing it. But the whole process, which should have been a delightful, oh, come into the Apple store. Oh, you're so welcome here. Want a cup of coffee? I mean, a croissant? You know, something that should have been a nice, pleasant experience turned into a horrific experience from a company that loves to tell you how feel good they are. You know, and they're not. So. No, they're not. Well, then service is not their middle name. No, no, it is not their middle name, and uh, it used to be. It used to be. And, and, and how, how much is the iPhone 13 retail? What I'm going to get is about $1,100, maybe. Yeah. 
I can't justify spending eleven hundred dollars on a phone. Well, what you do is you pay for it monthly as part of your bill. No, I I, I understand that. I so it doesn't seem like you're spending that much. And I and I should get about five hundred dollars off as well because of my, turning in my old one. Right, which is an iPhone what eleven? Uh, yeah, it's the eleven. Yeah. Uh, and before that, I had what they called an iPhone X. This was the greatest ripoff in the history of mankind. They had the regular right, iPhone, right. they had the iPhone X, or maybe the 9, I can't remember what it was. And then they had this special one called the X. And they're only a limited edition. And of course, like a sucker, I buy one. Right. And uh, the next year they come out with the new iPhone, but it's the 11 and it's also an X model. And you know they do away completely with the old model. So really when they were selling us the X, they were saying, oh, there's a limited edition on this and blah, 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 bullshit. Right, a built-in obsolescence. And now here's the other problem. I would, I would get out of all of this. I would just say, fuck you, I'm going over to you know, LG or the, uh, who's the, who's the big one? Samsung. Huh? Samsung. Samsung. You know, right. I'll go get a Samsung. You know, nobody says that the Samsung isn't just as good as the iPhone, even in uh, picture quality and video quality. But the fact is I have my Apple watch. Okay. Right. I have my Apple phone and I have my iPad. And guess what all these things do? They work. They talk to each other. They talk to each other. Right. So if I get out of the loop on any one of these things, like I get a new phone, then I'm out of the loop. I'm, uh, you know, I even well, lose. You have to buy all, all you have to buy all new stuff. I even lose my, uh, my, uh, my uh, what do you call it? My uh, uh, email address. Because my email address uh, is like a Bennett, whatever at me dot com or iCloud dot com or Mac dot com, right? Right. I lose that automatically. You lose all three of them, or just one? I would lose all my uh, email addresses. Yeah. Yeah. Now maybe I might not if I keep my iPad, but you know, that's a, that's another problem. Um, you, uh, I, I had a deal where I lost, um, uh, my email address for some reason or another. I had switched from one thing to another and, oh, I know what it was. I think it was whoever was carrying my email address decided to go out of the email business. That oh, was, really? That was it. Yeah. And so, uh, oh yeah, it was, it was, um. I had, uh, I was a Bennett at nyc.rr.com, which is Roadrunner, which was the kind of the AT&T thing. Well, AT&T did away with, uh, with uh, an email address. So I was left with that email. Right. So now I had to get an email address. Well, you can go over to Gmail. That's a pain in the ass. Yeah, so, no shit. So ultimately I had an iPhone, so I also had my Apple addresses okay but everyone else had my roadrunner address and they right hey, we're doing away with roadrunner on monday oh well fuck you you know and i'm without any uh, the email address that everybody had on me had changed i said well gee can i uh, can i like have it so that it rolls over if anybody tries to write me at that address and then when they write right me, right, right 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 no sorry we can't do that what didn't they used to do that in the rotary phone days when we had rotary phones? Oh, uh, it's it, 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 you it, could leave a forwarding it, number. Yeah, well, I think it used to be that if somebody called your old number, uh, the operator came on the line and said, "Well, that new number is right, 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 right." But anyway, so I lost, I lost that address, and so finally, what I did eventually is I created my own email address. Uh, right. I pay for it every year, but it's you know it's blah 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 at gabnet.net right 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 okay. right and and so i can't unless i stop paying for that i don't lose that 
you know. Right, 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 right. But, and isn't that your main email? Uh, yeah, that's my main email. But I right. I, I asked uh, uh, you know uh, the people at Roadrunner. I said uh, uh, I know what it was. It wasn't it wasn't road it was Roadrunner, but it was through my my cable system, which at that time happened to be Warner's. Okay. Time, okay. Time Warner Cable. Okay. My my phone is through my uh, cable company Spectrum. Yeah. Well, they did away with it. So uh, I said to him, well, I said. Uh, can I then have it so that whenever anybody writes, blah, blah, blah. Well, no. Either that or they told me it would cost me like a hundred bucks a year to do it. And I went, geez, almighty. You know, you should right. you should give it to me. You should give me an easy way to solve my problem. Because you created the problem. Right, 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 right. So that's, that, that, that was my, uh, that was my problem. I can't remember things anymore, by the way. I've been taking this drug and it makes me forget everything. So I'm trying not to take the drug now and then I have a hard time sleeping, so. What is, what is the drug? Uh, that pregabalin, the- uh, Oh, the gabapentin. The gabapentin, the Lyrica, right. the Lyrica is what it right. is, actually. That's what I take. Mm -hmm. Does it make you loopy? Does it make you forget stuff? I don't know if, if that's what makes me forget stuff with my years of drug abuse makes well, me forget yeah, well, stuff. Yeah, of course. We can't figure out what's the form of drug usage and what is uh, the... Uh, right. In fact, right, actually, right, the right. Lyrica might be helping you for all you know. Right, right. Maybe you should take Prevagen. What? You should take Prevagen. Oh, you mean the, that stuff? My, my, my wife says that she, her doctor, when she asked him about Prevagen, her neurologist said... Oh, you know what that is? That's cereal. Oh, really? He says it's cereal. Is but, that right? I don't know. They say it comes from jellyfish or whatever. Right. Right. Jellyfish? What? Why do I? Why is a jellyfish? Oh, a jellyfish never forgets. Oh, I see. I get it. Right. 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 Like a jellyfish has a brain. Yeah. Exactly. So you know. Uh, uh, but I mean, I, I just, I'm, a, I was, a, a, you know, it, so I'm, I'm losing my, I went in to get the phone the other day, the iPad the other day, and they asked me for a pin number of mine, and I couldn't remember it. I, and the reason was because they handed me this thing to type it into, and it was all numeric. Right. And I remember it as an alpha, my pin number. Oh, okay. Okay. Like, uh, this isn't my PIN number, folks, but like if it were uh, A-L-E-X. Right. That's how I would remember it, but I don't remember it as you hand me now a thing and it doesn't have the numbers, letters on it. I don't know, right. what, you know how to do that. So. No, me neither. I wouldn't know how to do that. And all my passwords, because I kept forgetting my passwords. Now I use two passwords, yeah. and that's it. For all, all, all my online stuff, I use just two different passwords. I can't do that. I've got a, I've got a, I've got a list of all my passwords, and the reason is I kept using the same password for twenty years. Right. Okay. And one day they said that password has been compromised. Yeah. Or they will tell you, well, that's the password you used last time. We want you to put in a right, new password. Right. That's why I have two passwords. Yeah, and I bet I'll bet the new password is the old password plus a zero. Actually, plus a one and a two. <laughs> yeah, I, it's bullshit, you know. Right, and right, then, right, and right. Then the, this, uh, am I getting old? Am I getting to be an old asshole here? But uh, the the two uh, factor uh, 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 ident authorization that they make you do now. Right, you know? right, right, right. I, I know what you're saying. I'm, I'm going. What? Maybe I don't want it. Maybe I don't care if somebody gets my you know, identity. It's like Bub says, you know, go ahead, steal my identity, then you'll have no life. Right, right, you right, know? right, right. I mean, come on, I, I should be the determiner of whether I feel my password is compromised or can be used for something else. Certainly with my bank account, I'm not gonna use one that might be compromised, but otherwise, yeah. Also on my bank account, I recently changed my username. Oh really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. 
those things I that, that I'm careful about. Okay, right. but otherwise right. I don't care. I don't care if somebody has my, you know, my uh, uh, Netflix uh, account. Fine, have fun, watch movies. I don't care. Right, Just right. It doesn't it's not cost, costing you any more it's money. Not costing me any more money. Exactly. Exactly. Right. But anyway, hey, listen. You know something? Guess what? It just oh. flies by you and I. Yeah. Just boom. That's it. Now, I, I, are you? Are we going to do this next week, or are you out yeah, for next no, week? Yeah. Next week we'll do it. It's a week afterwards that I'm getting the eye thing, which okay. I'm not looking forward to. No, I bet not. Yeah, but you know, if I, it's probably it's probably not going to be painful or anything else. I'm sure a doctor doesn't say. By the way, this is going to be very, very excruciatingly painful. Well, they never do. <laughs> they never do. <laughs> anyway, this may hurt. This may hurt a little bit. This may may pinch a little. That's what they. Right. Yeah. That's right. the one they use. This may sting. Yeah. This may sting a bit. Anyway, great talking to you again, my friend. Absolutely, well, my always friend. Always good, ladies and gentlemen. That's the ever popular Stephen Kravitz. Bye, Stephen. Bye, folks. This is Gavnet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Uh, hello, everybody. How are you? Uh, anyway, I'm, uh, oh, what do you know? I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm out of sync. <laughs> oh, boy, I give up on this. I really do. I'm giving up. I'm giving up on it. I'm just going to just, uh, you know... I, I went to a, a, this new thing with um, the new, uh, went to Apple, Big Sur or whatever, and now everything is like off, uh, you know, off, off putting like this. Eh, I don't know. I give up. I give up on it. I, uh, you know, uh, and it seems as though it's because I'm streaming at the same time that I'm doing, uh, I, I give up. I just give up. Okay. That's it. Uh, I I really wanna I really wanna stop doing this because it's just not it's not satisfying me. It's just not satisfying me, especially when I have problems like this. I had this last night. And see how I'm out of sync. I guess I don't know if I'm out of sync or not. At least I'm out of sync here. I don't know if I'm out of sync out there. But you can probably tell me whether I am or I'm not. But anyway, uh, when I go to the, um, when I go to the, um, uh, what do you call it, to the uh, uh, panel, uh, I won't have that problem, however. So let me go to that panel and uh, see if I have that problem. Let me see here. Where's the panel? There they are. I think we're, uh, we're in sync now here. Uh, uh, was I out of sync before? Yeah. Huh? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay, I give up. I absolutely. So why don't you, maybe what you ought to do is give the computer a break, like on Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> Just do your do your Monday pop up. Do a Wednesday and Friday late night thing. Get rid of the Tuesday and the and the guests that you have. Get rid of the Thursday and the guests that you have. Yeah, and how's that going to solve the problem on the other two nights of the week? Well, you know. I, I, well, oh, you'll, oh, oh. we'll miss you, but you know. All I know is I might be able to reboot this machine and it'll uh, all get better, but I I have no idea. I really don't know. So. How often do you reboot? Well, I didn't reboot today. No. You know, so. Mm. You know, I but I mean I just I give up with that uh, with the going out of sync. You know, I mean I had everything in sync, and it it seems to be having a problem with. Uh, I, I think it's because I'm I'm streaming at the same time that I'm recording now. So probably. you're in sync now. I know I'm in sync now. I'm in sync when I'm uh, when I'm just doing uh, uh, this. Okay, you know. But I don't know. I give up. I really give up. I'm. I'm well, California upset. dodged a bullet, as everybody yeah. probably knows. Yep. Yeah. Larry Elder's continues to be an idiot talk show host and that's it yeah he'll probably try to run for governor next time next year yeah next year. They, yeah and he won't he won't win you know he didn't he i don't think he even came in second place no, okay. he came in dead last 
Yeah. No, he no. said that he said he was going to not concede. Well, when you're like in dead last place. Well, wait a minute. There were other there were other Republicans running against right. him, right? Right. Uh, how Larry they, ended how up getting thirty five percent of the vote. Hmm. Larry ended up getting thirty five percent of the vote. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. Okay, now I seem to be my I seem to be in sync all of a sudden. Wait a minute. Let me show people my camera. Look, am, am I in sync? See, I'm in sync now. Yes. Uh, yeah. I can't figure out why I wasn't in sync there, and now I'm slowly, I think, going out of sync. No, you're still in sync. I, I don't know, but anyway, that doesn't matter. I give up. I give up. Makes no sense to me whatsoever. Uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I think that what the Republicans did was they really screwed themselves over yesterday, uh, because how they screwed themselves over was because. Uh, there was such a win by Gavin Newsom that basically it gives him a uh, the right to go out and just do whatever he feels like doing. You know? I mean, it gives him a... What's the word we're looking for here? Mandate. A mandate. Yeah. So, I mean, so they handed him a mandate. Good for them. You know? It cost the state a lot of money to play the stupid Republican now, game. Let's see here. Who's Bryson Clark? Let's see if it's anybody we know here. Let me That's see. Probably Larkin. It might no. It actually might be Brian. Mm. Sometimes Brian does that. Are, mm. are, are you uh, Bryson Clark? Oh well, that's nice. Well, we'll get rid of Bryson immediately. Nice Must be a Republican. Red He's color. A well-read person. Huh? <laughs> uh, let me see here. That's good. Uh, stop uh, the video. Oh, Wait a minute. Person. Wait a minute. Bryson Clark. Yeah. Stop video. Okay. Uh, 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 stop. Bryson, Bryson. Hey. No, I. What I do? I got rid of William instead. Yeah. Uh, He's yeah. still here. Let me He's see here. Let me see here. Uh, let me just remove him. There, here we go. Ah, uh, God. Yeah, you, okay. you stopped my video, Alex. Thanks a okay. lot. Okay. Well, we know what you look like. Yeah. But now everything's frozen up here. Oh boy. Well, now we're back. Uh, yeah, and then, then, then and see all this uh, stuff. Right. Look at all this stuff that Zoom puts up here. See in front of the screen, folks. Uh, it, it's ridiculous. Uh, start you recording. can't start your video because the host is... You need to restart my video, Alex. You can do it yourself, William. Just turn it I off can. and turn it back on. I won't let him. Oh. Uh, uh, hmm. Anyway. Uh, wait a minute. Now I have to do something here. Oh. This is this is this is just you know it's a pain in the butt. Let me see here. There, hold on a second. I gotta do something here. Okay. Uh, I gotta go general, and then I gotta tear. Now those are fine. Okay, fine. I don't know. I give We're up. We're good. I give up. And William, are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, okay, here. Wait a minute. <laughs> Ask to start video. Okay. Yes. Ask, here we go. Okay. There he goes. And I'm back. There you go. Well, Bryson, you asshole fucking motherfucking cock sucking <laughs> piece of shit. Look at all the Why don't you tell us how you really feel, Alex? <laughs> I don't hold back now. Yeah. Boy, well, I'd be glad when I get my eyes done. At least I'll have a week off. You know. Of course, I'll probably be in excruciating pain, but... No. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not. Yeah, it'd forward. be uncomfortable for a day or two, and you'll be fine. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm uncomfortable all the time now. So. Oh. Okay. What have you? Anyway. Uh. So. Uh, so. Uh. Let me see here. How are we? Uh, have we got anybody listening to us tonight? Uh. Yeah. Let me see here. Oh. Not there. I can't. Uh, can't tell there. There we go. Let me see here. Bum, 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 bum. And uh, uh, I guess we're okay. Let me see here. Hold on. Oh, but man, I'm t I'm so tired of this. It's one thing after another. Uh, Sounds like Pam got the paddle out there, Jeff. Yeah, you heard it, huh? Yeah, yeah it sounded like somebody got shot. That, that, that's the paddle. She's testing it out on the couch. She just did it again. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Bend over, Jeff. I'm dead. 
Oh, wait a minute. I, now I don't get this. This is I lost something here. Son of a bitch. Where are we? I don't know. Let me get rid of something here. Just you guys talk to each other. Hey, Vernon, how you doing? Hmm. Oh, I'm a little I'm a little tired from yesterday. This was my uh, habitat day, and it was 89 degrees here. Oh, Ouch. Mm. That's right. Uh, you're in Kentucky, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's about the same temperature here yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it it works out better when uh, we're doing a, a finish on a house because usually they've got the air conditioning running in the house by that time. But this was a rough end. Yeah. This was going in and putting all the wires where they needed to be. And we had a couple of fans, but they didn't do very much. No. You didn't do construction for a living, did you? No. I picked it up when I first started volunteering at Habitat. And nice. since I've got an electrical engineering degree, I said, well, I, I know what electrons are. Let me go volunteer with those guys. Okay. I finally, I got some, I had to reboot something here. Oh, boy. That's not my night. So anyway, so you you you're so you're exhausted from the uh, from the heat down there. Yeah, just I got a little dehydrated, but you know. How many about, approximately how many homes do you actually build a year? Our chapter builds uh, anywhere between eighteen and twenty a year. Wow, wow. that's nice. incredible. Nice. That's incredible. <laughs> and are these homes free to the people or? Oh no 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 no! You have to qualify first. Yeah. And in order to qualify, you have to have a job. Yeah. And you have to put in 400 hours of sweat equity. You or someone can can do that for you, like a family member or a friend or somebody like that can can help you with that part of the qualification. But then once you're selected, then they build the house for you and you get a 20 year no interest loan. Oh, okay. nice. All righty. All righty. Nice. Yeah. How, how much are the house is selling for? Well, we have two different areas. The, the a newer development out in the eastern part of the county, the average home price for a habitat home is about one hundred and fifty thousand. In other parts of the city, it's about ninety five. Almost makes me okay. Now, my question is: Can the people sell the home in that time? They can after a period of time, but if you don't last at least five years, then habitat repossesses. Okay. If you don't stay in the house at least five years, then Habitat I, takes repossession and they'll they'll fix it up and move another family into it. After that, can you then sell it? After five years, you can, but usually uh, when they start a house, they'll get a corporate donation of X amount of dollars, and that's to cover the material they need to get the house started under construction, mm -hmm. the blocks and the wood and uh, all that sort of thing. Now, we get a lot of volunteers, like the, all the roofs of our houses are put on by a roofing company here in town, and we we uh, don't have to pay for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, nice. I'm part of an electrician team that does all of the electrical work. Now we don't supply the material, Habitat buys the material, the wire and the connectors and all that boxes, but <clears throat> all the labor is free. Yeah. The only thing we pay for on everything is the HVAC and the plumbing. And that's primarily because those people have to get the permits from the city in order to to new, new construction like that. Now we have a electrical contractor here in our city that will pull the permits and be responsible for it and the city says that's fine, even though we don't have a licensed electrician on the job all the time. Hmm. Okay. So, I mean, that's a, it's great. And is that the case in, in every city in the country where they do habitat for the I humanities? Think, I think, I think the, the, the manner in which we do it is, is the way the national and, and all the other chapters do it with one exception. And that is our chapter is unique by having electrical volunteers. Mm -hmm. Almost every other chapter in the country, if not all the other chapters in the country, as far as I know, mm -hmm. hire out all the electrical stuff too. So they have to pay a contractor to do all the electrical stuff, which we do with volunteers. Oh, okay, good. Well, bravo, congratulations. Yeah, that's, that's great to do yeah. that. You're building houses, 90,000, I could buy that with a credit card. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> The, what I what I failed to mention part of it though is uh, be, to cover the cost of the donation by the corporations that sponsor a house, they put a second lien against the house, 
that second lien then gets forgiven every year past five years. So if they stay in the house for 10 years, then five years of that second lien gets uh, forgiven, which means whatever equity is in the house will reduce, will pay off that second lien, whatever's remaining of the second lien, mm -hmm. anything that's left over, the homeowner gets to keep. So you're kind of protecting yourself against uh, getting ripped off. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. In other words, and, I, and how do you qualify? In other words, how poor do you have to be? There, There's income restrictions, uh, depending on the size of your family. Mm -hmm. If you're single or if it's just two of you or if you're a family of four or a family of six or whatever there is an income limit that you have to be below that in order to qualify i see okay and and, and then when they're paying off the mortgage on the house is yes. it reasonable within what your income category is usually it's a uh, in the 450 to 500 dollars a month Okay, that's what somebody would pay for. Yeah, that was my rent. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Half my that's rent. a third of my MasterCard. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I'm happy to say sandwiches. Right, I'm happy to say right what? now it's more than my rent, but that's another story <laughs> altogether. Yeah. Uh, but, oh well. <laughs> what percentage of the of the people who you've used for the last ten years or whatever? What percentage of them did it uh, have a problem or, or was totally successful? Well, last year we started, the last house that we started at the end of 2020, we had to stop uh, after it was under roof and we got the uh, electrical rough end done. They stopped construction on it because the homeowner that was lined up for that house lost their job. Job. Okay. So we stopped until they could get another qualified homeowner for that house okay all right and how about the property who who buys the property initially usually the habitat will work with the city and they'll get some abandoned properties for a dollar mm -hmm. okay and or nice. or like the new development i was talking about out in eastern jefferson county they partnered with a city agency that got some grant money mm -hmm. and they put in all of the sewers and the roads and the the electrical power for the underground utilities, all that kind of stuff. They got it all ready for construction. And then they started selling off some of the lots. They, they developed a hundred lots and 27 of them were designated for habitat houses. The rest of them were sold to regular builders. Wow. So, uh, 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 Okay, so somebody qualifies for, for one of these homes. Uh, who finances it? Are there banks that will uh, finance these people even though they may not have a credit? No, it's all self-financed. Habitat carries the mortgage. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. They supply the materials. I well, see. the materials are generally covered. The materials you need to build the house are generally covered by the donation by whoever the corporate sponsor is. We have some churches that will sponsor houses also, wow. some big churches. Now, my question <laughs> is, oh, there was a question I had here about, uh, oh boy, I forgot what it was. I forget it. Oh. Well, here in Austin, private people can donate and they can use that to buy materials for the houses. Oh, you know what We've I wanted had... to ask, what about, what about the actual uh, um, configuration of the place? I mean, do you do original homes or do you have a certain amount of different blueprints for uh, we have different templates yeah now the new development out in eastern jefferson county we had to modify some of our templates that we had been using elsewhere in the city just to make them more attractive like the houses in most areas of the city had eight foot ceilings but out there all the houses had nine foot ceilings you had to blend in and you had to blend in like uh, we use hardy siding on all the houses, but out there we put a little trim board along the bottom of the siding. So it kind of dressed it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. I, yeah. I, I, but, but I don't know if you're aware of this. I was in uh, New Orleans a few years back and I went down to the ninth ward, which had been very heavily hit, as you know, by the uh, Katrina. By Katrina. Katrina. 
and pretty well wiped out. And Brad Pitt went in there yep. to build homes for people. Yep. And there's like a whole couple of blocks with these very unusually interesting looking homes that were built by Brad Pitt, who gave them for free to people who'd been wiped out by Katrina. Yep. Uh, really pretty amazing what he did, you know. Yeah. Well, maybe you ought to start taking up, up money. We put in money every week, and the Alex Bennett home could be built. Uh, with donations from your uh, from your fans here, I may need it soon. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. that's right. But uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I hear Jeff's got a room for you. Yeah. yeah Jeff's By the sure. way, anybody listening out there, where we have not been getting a great amount of callers lately, you know? Yeah, we're not talking about controversial things. Well, no, that's right. No, Trump's that, not president no, anymore. It's just a lot, of, a lot of the regulars just aren't calling anymore, and I don't know why. And it's really starting to stress me. Uh, you know, Larkin got a job. Uh, uh, Brian said he's working more. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, I don't know why Tony been, doesn't call more often. It sounds like he's going to bed early. There should be more people you know joining in who have never called before you know but i'm getting pretty frustrated with this whole thing and the amount of people that are watching it have gone down too so you know mm -hmm. i'm really thinking of of uh stopping this nightly show i really am and it, with things like the technical problems that i'm having tonight and so on <clears throat> it's just it's just getting to be too much for me I'm just too exhausted. Just going to do a pop up every day of the week? Not every day of the week. No, I do the pop up on on Monday, and maybe I'll do a Friday show, you know, and leave it at that. You know, that's what I'm thinking about. Uh, but I mean, right now I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted just because I had a few problems here I had to deal with, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm uh, you know, and then. On top of that, when I go to all this trouble and then nobody calls, how do you think that makes me feel? You know, mm -hmm. so uh, you know, and, I, and that's not, not to disparage you guys. Thank you so much for being people who did call. You know, uh, don't anybody tell Alex that he just froze up a minute ago. Did I freeze up? <laughs> did Momentarily. You, did you guys see me freeze up? Yeah, just for a second. For a second. Yeah, yeah, just for a second. Your voice a split second. Going. Yeah. Hey, your Let's voice say. kept going. Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, I, I, I also give up on the technology too. I really maybe AT and T is screwing you and they're slowing you down. No, I don't <laughs> think so. I, I, because I don't, because it is an AT and T. Uh, it's it's FiOS, and they don't they don't ramp you down. I pay for really fast throughput. So what do you? Get? I guess FiOS is uh, Verizon. Is that who provides FiOS? Yeah. But the thing is that uh, that it uh, you know that uh, if it slowed down, it probably was something with uh, maybe something with Zoom, you know, that was doing it. But maybe anyway. How's everything down? And uh, let's see. Resistance is not futile, and of course there is the. Uh, is voltage divided by current? It's Ohm's law. Yes, that's that's Ohm's law. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At except I think technically, that. I think technically, Charlie, it should be E divided by I, because E is your electromotive force in Ohm's law. <laughs> well, Jesus, everybody wants to change the shirt. <laughs> they are, they taught us voltage. They taught us V. Yeah, of course that was back in the dark ages. Well, well, if you're going to use voltage, then you've got to use in the denominator Somewhere instead of in my, I. In my, in my, you need to use A for amps. In my mind, volts divided by amps. Way back in the early days of my broadcasting, uh, you had to have a license to run a transmitter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what are you doing? Get this to work. Oh well, I was trying to. Uh, I have. I have an app that has Ohm's law on it. Yeah. You put ah. two of the prayer, voltage, current, resistance, power. Yeah. Watts law too. Yeah. Anyway, and, anyway, uh, sorry. Uh, where, now where, see you threw me off. Now I can't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> Happens My so it's an operated transmitter. Oh yeah, uh, it, it, we had to have a license to operate the transmitter. 
And uh, yep. if you were working at a certain low voltage, a low power station, mm -hmm. uh, you could do it with a third class restricted, which you got that by simply mailing into the FCC and they'd mail you one back and you filled your name out on it <laughs> and that was your license. Um, if you, um, there was also a third class restricted uh, and I, I think I got one of those because all you had to do was answer 10 questions or something. But then if you had one to operate like a really high powered station, you had to go out and get a first class license which I never got because I decided, hey, I never got into this business to be an engineer. And if a station wants me, they'll figure out a way to have me work there and have somebody else watch the transmitter. Okay. And I was right. Um, but at one point I did think about getting a first class license. And so I started studying for it. And one of the things that came up was that uh, V. And I can't remember where it was and I can't remember what it was about. But V was was voltage. <laughs> Something about voltage. Something about voltage. Yeah. That's right. But uh, uh, are you, you're familiar with all those licenses, right, uh, uh, Vernon? Well, yeah. At one time, I I thought about going that route myself, mm -hmm. and a good friend of mine who was in my wedding actually went that route. He went to vocational school, and he ended up retiring from the state as the chief engineer for the local PBS transmitting station, the TV station. So he's he's doing nicely. But yeah. I went the amateur radio route when I was in high school. So I've been a ham operator ever since I was a sophomore in high school. Right, right. But yeah. so I, I just never was able to, uh, um, you know, I, I never was able to get a first class license and I never really wanted to. You could go through cram courses and they would, I don't know, do a cram course thing with you so that you'd get it, but you wouldn't know what you were answering, you know? Uh, yep. And that's that's the other one, that I, the way you could go to get it. I just never wanted to do it, so I just never did it, never got one. Well, that's the same thing. I wanted to be an engineer, and that's what I ended up going to engineering school. Yeah. And so that's why I never pursued the broadcast license, but because I wouldn't go to work in that field. Right. Hello to Kevin. How are you, Kevin? Hi, Alex. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm a little out of it tonight again. I don't know. I, 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 I decided to stop taking my pill, my, my um, pregabalin. See, I can't even remember it. <laughs> pregabalin. Because, no, because I've found that I've been, <laughs> I've been forgetting stuff. I mean, I went in to buy this iPad the other day, and I couldn't remember a, a pin number that I had for something. How many days have you been off per gabbling? Uh, for like two days, three days, something like that. <laughs> yeah. After a week from now, if your memory doesn't come back, it probably wasn't the pill. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Well, I, I, my memory, <laughs> I my memory is screwed, that, and I'm 20 years younger than you. That's very, <laughs> that's very encouraging, Alan. But it's truthful. I mean, you know. Yeah. You're blaming the pill, and it may not be the pill. Could be the pill. Yeah. Could be. Absolutely. Could be, but I, I think it takes all, quite a few days to really get off this pill. I mean, it's it's. I've had, had a hard time sleeping the last couple This is couple Lyrica, nights. right? Yeah, it's Lyrica, but it's the generic version. Generic version. Well, I looked it up one night, and you're not supposed to take uh, get off at cold turkey, but... Well, I mean, what am I going to do? It, to take, it, take it one day and the next day miss a day and the next day take one for a week and, you know. Taper another, off. Taper off. Thank you. That's the word. In other words, every other day, every other day, every other yeah. day. Yeah, or because, cut them in half. Well, no, you, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you you want to try. That's it. I had to go off Paxil. Well, Paxil, but you see, it's easy to go off something like that because it is. Oh, it, no, it, it, no, 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 no. Well, no, that's why they want you to taper because it's I, not I, easy. I was on Paxil. I, it, it did some horrible shit to me when I tried to go off of it. Really? It, uh, I can only describe it as hand grenades going off in my head whilst being electrocuted. Oh, that sounds fun. Well, yeah. Well, well, this isn't uh, this isn't the uh, the the gabbling because I can't go over there and grab it. But here's why I can't uh, why I can't take a half of one. 
Oh, you got a horse it's a, pill. Yeah. It's a capsule. It's a it's a capsule. capsule. Is that your ivermectin, sir? Huh? <laughs> Is that your ivermectin? <laughs> ivermectin, yeah. You can yeah. before you put the capsule in your mouth, you can un, you can se separate it and huh. dump half out. Or oh, how hard that is, though. Yeah. Jesus, you I do it all the time. You could try uh, it as a suppository. Oh wait, no. Who oh, knows, let everyone? Let me get one of them. Let me see here. Here is the. Uh, oh, here it is. I hate when you're using cap. your butt to hold okay. the other end of the capsule. Let's see if there's any way. <laughs> What? Who, what, are you, what? What are you laughing at? Did I do something funny? No, no. I said I hate when you're using your butt to hold the other end of the capsule. Yeah. What is this pill? Huh. Here's a pill I never even saw. It. I, I don't know where that came from. That's the memory pill. If you take it at work, your but memory here, gets better. I'm just wondering, yeah. can I take these and split? Do you take the red pill or do you take the blue pill? Uh, let me see here. I wonder if I can. Also, coin. No, I guess what I would have to do is probably cut it in half, and then put half of it in a glass of water and swallow it. Would that be? Yeah. I could do that, right? Sure. Sure, could. It's, sure. It, it's probably not bitter. You know. You don't like bitter. Is it a bitter pill to swallow? <laughs> ah. Yeah. Actually, it does separate. But um, um, thank you for helping me. Always tend to separate. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I'm I'm going to have to, I would have to cut it in half and then uh, uh, try it. Well, we to... knew they could separate because that was one of the murder plots on Colombo. What? Where they opened up the capsule and put cyanide or something in in place of whatever the medicine was. Well, yeah, but this one, it, 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 I think they've actually made it so you can't open yeah, I mean, I can cut it in half and probably get some of the, some of the empty off, out half of it. And That's then, how cyanide got into. You, you uh, can't pull them apart anymore. Got into no. Tylenol. Somebody yeah, keeps when, they, when they poison them back in. Open the yeah, but I'm not. And, I'm not out to poison myself. <laughs> okay. Jeez, <laughs> Almighty. I'm not out to poison myself. Well, wait a minute. Anybody <laughs> else here? Uh, uh, Kevin, you're you're a guy who's been on a lot of medicine. How would you take half a capsule? Thanks. No, I wouldn't. I just take it all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you, what you're, you guys are suggesting is I do it one day and not do it the next day and not right. do it every other day and then maybe every third day. Just go doctor, to your doctor and tell him you want to come off it and give you a half yeah, a dose. Yeah, they give you a smaller and smaller dose. Right. Yeah, you just lower your do yeah, the doctor just lower your dose. I, I guess. <laughs> That's I, how I came off. I already had him lower it already, you know. Well, how many really of take it now? Take it tell them you want I fives, have. and then go to 2.5. Yeah. They're yeah. scored, huh, Jeff? Well, they I mean, but I guess I guess I, I guess I could put it in liquid and drink it, right? Sure. You cut it that. open and lay it out on the table and snort it, too. Well, that, yeah. too. <laughs> if you're going to put it in liquid, use urine. It works the best. <laughs> it hides the, hides the flavor of the pill. <laughs> so I've heard. So you've heard. Uh, to be but, cooked with a spoon. Not that you haven't done it. Uh, so I've heard. Yeah. Yes. Alex, about, I would not recommend you use all of these uh, ingenious guys here. <laughs> myself. Call your doctor. Yeah. yeah. Tell him what you want. Well, to I told it. him I, I was taking a heavier dose and I wanted a lesser dose, so I'm now on the lesser dose. Well, how much were well, you? There on you go. You're on step two but already. I would, I would yeah. like to just stop it. Period. No, but you can't do that. Well, you're on step two already, so just call him and tell him you want the next lower dose, and then call him a week later well, and you I'm want sure the next. I'm sure if lower. I suffer this out for like a week, I'll probably a week? be okay. It took me a month to get off. Yeah, yeah, it takes a long time. It took you a month to get off what? Paxil. Paxil. Yeah. Pa Paxil, Paxil but Paxil's then, different. Paxil's an anti-anxiety uh, medicine, or what is it? It's uh, antidepressant. Anti antidepressant. Anti like yeah. Well, n yeah, I can understand that, but this isn't. This is a. This is a uh, anti. Uh, Psychotic. What? It's an antidepressant. Just. You no, know, like it's that. not an antidepressant. Not at all. Where were you what, reading? Which, what, what drug are you talking about? I'm talking about I'm talking about uh, uh, well, gabapentin. Pregabalin. Pregabalin. Oh. 
Gavin. I had no trouble getting off that. C. C. <laughs> Allen. Who, That's uh, who, uh, who, 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 neuro, uh, neurological who, drug, who, right? Who, yeah, I was taking it for uh, my, uh, who, uh, my neuropathy in my feet. Who, uh, yeah, so I, I took it for about a month, but I didn't like it, and I just stopped. So yeah, much, well, so, so much it, Alan, for the guy that, that uh, um, uh, uh, Jack Bishop calls Doc. <laughs> you know, I can't, I can't know it. I can't know everything. You I know? wish you quit calling you Doc because it makes it sound like everything coming out of your mouth is medically sound. A lot of what I say is medically sound. You, so no, it's I not. Can... Are you a doctor? Which doctor? A witch doctor. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Fuck it. Phenobarbital for everyone. Yeah, right. <laughs> Right. That drug's been around for gambling. For gambling. Hey, when I was a kid, they used to give uh, phenobarbital to kids. Yeah, so. well, I actually, I went to high school with somebody who was an epileptic, and they had him on phenobarbital. I was like, yeah. dude, that, that shit will knock your dick in the dirt sideways. And he's like, I've been taking it for so long, it's like aspirin. Mm. Hmm. Now he's got he's missing his stomach. Well, wait a minute. Now, <laughs> let, much, uh, yeah. now we have two people here from California, so we can talk about last night's yesterday's election. Yes, we can. Uh, which, what? Uh, yes, and oh. you were a captain in the general wow. election. So he's. Uh -huh. I was working all four days. So he's the one that uh, that fixed it, and. Uh, yeah, I was there washing. <laughs> Uh, you saw all the cheese. Yesterday, the, wor the, the the nuts came out of the woodwork, I'll tell you. Did, what do you mean? In what way? Oh, it was, you know, pretty calm the first three days, but yesterday they all came out. There was a mess. Well, they, the, the lie has, has is still in full force, believe me. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So they think <clears throat> I that... had people coming in walking around the ballot box checking it i had people checking our pens for different ink i had people looking at the machines telling me that the dominion machines were rigged i had people telling me all oh, kind of shit yesterday it was i, I thought it was over with it blue in the paper oh it was ridiculous so how did you handle these people Tased them with a taser, of course. <laughs> yeah, I told them to get the hell out. I run the busiest polling station in the county, besides the county itself, and it was, I, you know, I knew it was going to be busy, but I, I didn't believe. I thought it was going to be, you know, just busy. Mm -hmm. But it was, you know, I had three ladies working with me, and when I went for lunch, they came back and told me that one lady stood there and got upset at them because. She had to tell them her name. Hmm. <laughs> Give them a yeah. fake name. Who the hell cares? Oh, you mean amazing. so you could look at the <laughs> list People to see coming it? in and telling me, uh, you know, how do you want to vote, sir? I want to. I want to vote whatever way is safe. Well, pick your choice. You want to use your pen or do you want to use your finger to to vote for the one question you have to answer? <laughs> Maybe two. Maybe two. Maybe yeah, two. Maybe two if you decide. You know, it's just insane. The two people came in. They weren't going to vote because they were already voted by mail, which they don't believe in. And they came in and they were checking the fucking pens. And I said, <laughs> what, what are you doing? And they said, we're just looking to see what kind of writing it. We see that you're using pens. And I said, what okay. county are you in? Well, um... Gilroy, San Mateo, and I mean Gilroy and and Morgan Hill, and and they're were, they're using sharpies. And I said, "What? Ooh. They're not using sharpies." Oh, yes, they are. I said, well, "Where did you hear that?" Well, it was on this. Um, it was on a show. And I said, "Okay, oh, what show are you watching?" Fox News. They informed us say Fox or something like that, and they're saying. Well, it was, I don't remember. I said, well, you have to be specific so that I can at least let them know, you know, something, you know, something I should report. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't, we listen to the conservative, and I went, okay, that tells me one, and I'm going, okay, one. Okay. It's a conservative, it's a conservative radio show, and it's, it's on one of the conservative stations. I don't remember. 
Which is I go, all okay, so them. what date was it? And so I started Google, you know, I let her go on with it, and she couldn't name what it was. So I, she left, and both her husbands says, at least we're doing it right. We're doing it right. You got pens there. And I said, well, thank you. I'll just look <laughs> how, it up well, on how, the internet. How was she planning on doing it, not using a pen? She was she was doing it by mail. <laughs> oh. Well, and she came in to give me a hard Of email. course, they don't believe in doing it by mail, do they? No. Now, no. Oh, wait, a minute, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If she already minutes. voted by mail, why did she come in in the first place? My point exactly, but I'll just leave it at that. Let's just and you I started looking it up on the internet. I spent 15 minutes looking it up on the internet, searching the cities, Sharpies, cheating by voting with Sharpies, because she said that the Sharpie goes through, and when they're when they're in the ballot box, that the the ink bleeds through to the other ones and marks the other ones <laughs> the wrong thing. And I'm going, are you kidding me? You're not telling me. <laughs> Almost I'm, a hanging chad. This huh? stuff is still hanging oh. over from the last election. This, this lady sounds like she's on Lyrica. <laughs> she could be. I think it's something better than that myself. Maybe you need to ask your doctor if Paxil is right for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I looked it all up, and the only thing close that I could find was the Arizona issue in the 2020 election, where and there was some bamboo, sharpies being used. There's bamboo in the ballots. That was yeah. as close as I could get to that. Ooh, sharpies. And then I had the lady that came in, and she was circling around, and she was looking, and I said, which way would you like to vote, by pen or a uh, ballot marking device? Well, I'm not. I don't want anything electronic. I said, "Well, you kind of you just signed on your ballot, you know, on your EBM to to get in here first of all to vote. So that's electronic. <laughs> now you got to decide whether you're, I'm going to print you a ballot because you've just voided your mail-in ballot. Now you have to decide whether you're going to get a ballot printed or you're going to go over there and use your finger instead of a pen to push yes or no. Well." I'll use the touch screen. And then she and she goes, are those Dominion machines? And I said, I don't know what they are. And I knew they were Dominion. But I, said, I don't know. I don't really care. I said, then you go over there, you push the button, you print the thing out, and you put it in the box. She goes, I'm not using any Dominion machines. So she goes through the whole thing again. And she gets done, and she comes out, and she's with her husband, and she goes, I don't like this at all. And her husband had used the printout and done it with a pen. And she goes, mine's not going to count. It says Dominion on the machine, and she comes over to me and goes, "You're running Dominion machines," and I said, "Oh, the ones from Columbia." <laughs> oh, it's hard to and go. No, those aren't the same ones. They're not. They're not spelled the right you way. Know, let me let me just for a moment, as an American, thank you for your service. Yeah, thank you. Because you know, what I you had a lot of people that said that, but I got a lot of people that gave me a hard time what, about what it. What you too. had to put up with yesterday and bite your lip. Oh, so many times. You know, so is, many times. It's just amazing. The I last mean, guy came in. The last guy came in and he goes, "Hey, you get uh, paid for this? There's this volunteer." And I said, "Yes." <laughs> and he said, "Well, what is it? Volunteer or paid?" And I said, "Well." I said, this election cost us $276 million, right? And he says, yeah. And I said, I get $275 million of it, and the other million is to pay for all these ballots we got to print. <laughs> wow, I want your job. <laughs> I said, I, I'm, I love being a conservative. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's just it, it's just amazing to me the amount of money that was spent on this useless, absolutely useless exercise. At the end of the day, it was like, what the hell was I here for four days? And and to, 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 and to have these people come in here and listen to this crap all day long. I thought it was, you know, pretty much gone, but it is in full force out there. This it's is in why full I force. vote by mail. This is why I do my ballots by mail. I've been doing it since I was 18. And there was a lot of people doing it by mail. We, I mean, I was surprised. We probably pulled in 400 in the day by mail because we had a drop box out there. We had our own <laughs> drop box yeah. where people just come in and dump them. And, but we still had people that insisted on coming in and 
pulling the ballot box, you know, pulling the ballot and doing the whole thing. But it was amazing how you could see the difference between the people that would not touch that ballot marking device. And all you were doing was literally using your finger to mark a ballot and print it out and stick it in the box. I had a guy come in and start shaking the box. Mm -hmm. It's a blue canvas box. And he walked around it and he looked at it and he shook it. And I'm sitting there and I'm staring at him because I'm just the captain there. I just sit there and watch the room. And he's sitting there and I'm sitting over in a corner. I was watching West Wing on my iPad. And uh, and he and he's looking, I'm looking at him. And I finally looked up and I go, can I help you, sir? And he's going, nah, just looking at the box. Seen a lot, heard a lot about these things. I go, yeah, if you lift it up, there's a false bottom. I didn't say that, but I was going to. <laughs> Yeah, I go, awesome. if you'll notice, you can walk around it. I said, you can lift it up. It's just a box. I said, there's a seal on the right side. If you want, I'll get the clipboard, and I'll show you that that seal matches the number that's on the clipboard. It was sealed this morning. When the first voter came in, they saw that it was an empty box, and we put a seal on it. And I said, uh, it is what it is. It'll go to the office tonight with all the ballots in it. I said, he goes, yeah, I've, I've heard a lot about these things. I said, oh, is this your first time voting? <laughs> Same one that's there every election. <laughs> you know, these are the, well, these are the he just same people. Took it and he rolled it around and he looked at it and he moved it and he just, okay, thanks. And he walked away. I went, he these left. are the same people that'll borrow a stranger's iPhone or stuff and, and punch their number on it. Yeah. All hand it back to the person and not wash their hands. Yeah. I didn't even it, think it, twice. It was, it was strange, it was entertaining, but it was really weird. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah, because you know, the first three days were very calm, and then this fourth day came and it was a circus. Did, did everybody have to wear a mask to get inside? We did not require them. Okay. You could wear them, but we didn't require them. We wore them all day long, but we didn't require it because we knew it was kind of going to be a an issue but we cleaned everything and all that well uh, connecticut is yeah. is mandatory on all kinds of things yeah like if you go to uh, uh up to uh, we went to a place where a guy died and uh and they go into church you see, everybody's got to have a mask to go into church yeah See, we're on the verge of doing that mandatory stuff here. We're, our county is kind of a little behind, but I think this week we're probably going to go mandatory. And so they decided to hold back on it a little bit, and we were going to be the, the cleaner-uppers kind of thing. And, you know, we're not a huge county. We're just... Are you in San know. Benito County? Yeah. Hmm. But okay. it, was, it was interesting. It was a good turnout, but it was it was really interesting. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, my question is now, William, you are where? You're up up north, right? I'm in Sutter County. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you, you know what's interesting is that I think this was a big miscalculation on the part of the Republicans. Oh yeah. Oh, because as I said themselves. earlier. Uh, this gives you know, Gavin Newsom. For the run up to this to this recall, since I live in really deep red conservative Sutter County, yeah, this is all I heard up to for to the run up up to this recall was, oh yeah, it's gonna be Larry Elder all the way. Yeah, we're, we're behind him. Rah, 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 rah. Oh, yeah, stupid. well, I mean, the thing is that this stupid. wasn't... This I live with stupid people. This okay, wasn't, I'm just going to let that be known right now. I'm surrounded by stupid people. Are you, 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 you talking about... There, are you and, are but you, there aren't. When you look at the overall population of California, you see that, you know, we've got, what, 55 million in this, in this state? And 40. the amount of people that had to get those signatures, it's minute cons compared to what you know, what this recall had to have to get qualified. It was, you know, it and was the head of a pencil. Here. It was and this it much. Here. It was the eraser of a pencil to get qualified and it wasn't gonna make it. And it mostly came <clears> from just needed here. people to show up to vote. 
and in an area like yours it's just concentrated yeah this is where you know, it you're in the from. area where they were able to qualify that you know kind of thing. yeah this is where it all originates from you know and we have people here who talk about the great state of jefferson yeah yeah i'm like yeah. You people are fucking stupid. It goes all down the Central Valley. Yeah, dude, it's like, really? Well, yeah. you, you know, the thing is that what I was saying is is that if Gavin Newsom didn't have a mandate before, he, has he certainly one now. does now because the mm -hmm. amount of people who voted not to, uh, not to throw him out of office was so huge the difference is about what uh 20 percent something like oh, that oh it's 30 percent was it 30 percent did it they're get still up to counting but yeah no, it was 40 it was 40 percent they're still <laughs> counting but it's going to be pretty pretty big all i'm saying was something like 35 percent to whatever his percentage 75 was. 75 yeah i mean that eh, is a, an absolute so. mandate for him yeah. to say hey you know fuck all y'all in right? fact he won bigger this time around than he did when he ran against John Cox when he was trying to get elected. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, it, I hope this hurts the Republicans in 2020. Well, but what I'm saying is what was lost here was $325 million, I think, is the cost of this. 276. 276? 276. Okay. It's been, it's been replied. Yeah. I mean, what a waste of money. What, I mean, that money could have been used to, like, put out fires. You could know? have given everybody a million bucks. Yeah. And had to change. <laughs> yeah. So. If he wants to give away money uh, for getting COVID shots, why didn't he just give everybody a million bucks, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's just, but it, but it was just, I think, terrible. And I think it's time that California maybe come out and say look it's time for us to do away with this kind of thing and not allow well, these too. recalls Looks like they're going to work on that the they got to reform that that recall bill and yeah. you know figure out uh, more more criteria to to have a recall yeah a because different I remember the last time we did this and we had arnold but at least arnold cared about governing who yeah yeah, yeah. at least he cared he well, he was, he, he was, he was, he was, he wanted to do the job. He, he was a reasonable Republican. Yes, he was. In fact, you know, even though I voted for Mary Carey, the, the porn star with the big titties. Yeah. Well, but, but and with good reason. It was good reason. Yeah. But he, he turned out okay. I mean, yeah, there was some, like the Prop 8 thing and okay, but he wasn't perfect, but he was Arnold okay. was a porn star. What's what? that? Arnold was a porn star? Yeah, Google him. Early in his like late teens and early twenties, he modeled in some gay porn or something like that. No, he didn't. Huh? No, he didn't. It's he may good have that we got on the show. He, he, Wikipedia he, is always he, wrong. No, but he may have done some uh, uh, male nude photography. No. Uh, or or posed for uh, uh, stuff uh, but he was never he never did porn oh, okay yeah 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 he, yeah, he just posed nude I, I, in fact I think I've probably seen that photo of him and that's why you voted for him no I didn't vote for him I voted for Mary Carey oh because no, she had better was, Terminator no actually but I did, but, actually, but yes, I actually, did pull the lever for him the second time the truth of the matter is uh, Arnie did have better tits than Mary Carey <laughs> so. this is true yeah. and I ended up did I ended up pulling the lever for Arnold the second time really what lever the voting lever oh okay okay well you know I mean Arnold uh, has always uh -oh. been a reasonable Republican you know, uh, he um, a while back when it when he came out for vaccinations in no uncertain terms. I and mean, he believed in climate change. He yeah. believed in climate change. Yeah. I think he knew that he couldn't run for president, so why not be the best you can well, as he, governor? Well, no, you, he he couldn't run for president anyway. He's not a natural born citizen. That was my point. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But then again, neither was Obama. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but up bumps. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, you know, Kevin, you ought to take one of those boxes that you use that's empty now, put it outside, and, and maybe that guy wants to walk around it some more. <laughs> yeah, it's uh it was it was funny. It was interesting. How come we never asked Trump for his birth certificate? Yeah. Uh, well, I believe he was born in the United States because he's dumb enough to be an American. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you know, um, he. Um, by the way, did you see that uh, he uh, he he's making more appearances now? He's starting to he's starting to talk about running again. He's stirring it up with General Miley. Yeah, they're putting they're putting the fencing up around the Capitol area again as we speak. They started tonight for this rally that's going to be on the 18th. And right. one Saturday, estimate right? they yeah. may have this Saturday. And one estimate but they might have 700 people show up. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all related. Yeah, 700 people with three last names. Yeah, there they are. The conservatives spending more money that we don't need to spend. Isn't that great? And, and by the yeah. way, how much is that fence costing to put up? Right? A bunch. You know. Well, they already bought the place. The, 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 what? Yeah, they just pulled them out of storage from the last time. Before. Oh, okay. But, the, but they have to put it together. It takes... Yeah. No, it's expensive to... to anytime we do anything like that, it costs... But you pay the, you got to pay all the overtime for the cops. and it, Yeah. I know. Yeah, but I thought conservatives were supposed to be conserving the money, not spending it like that. Oh, please. Yeah. Right? That idea, that idea went out the window with Ronald Reagan. Yes, oh, I understand can. that. Four trillion later. Yep, I understand that. Can we not Can we not say that the government spending is, at, is out of control? Our, our, our debt, national debt is approaching a trillion dollars. You remember he, he said that? By the way, can I say something in just closing tonight, and this is going to sound inappropriate, but it isn't as inappropriate as it sounds, because once I say it, it will make sense. Okay. Uh, I really want Probably to thank, I time. want to really thank Larry Nasser for molesting those women on the, uh, on the Olympic teams. Uh, for this reason, it was the only time today that I ever heard the Democrats and the Republicans in lockstep. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, it took it took a bunch of women being molested for the Democrats and the Republicans to agree on something. Sad state of affairs, isn't it? Though, I, this is, yeah, this is what it this is what it has to come to. Yeah, yeah. So, whatever. Anyway, hey, listen, I'm going to play the theme here, and then I'm going to hey, say hey. goodbye to you. And when I come back uh, on full screen, folks, you're going to see me completely out of sync. You know, but I've been in sync for most of the show here. And you've done great. You know, yeah, you uh, did great. Hey, just tell everybody to go uh, home. I'm just, I'm, I'm just pooped. I'm exhausted. Uh, uh, Jeff Stein, thank you, thank you, William. Always good to have you here. Always good to have you here, Alan. Charlie Wallace, deep See in the heart. Week, of, man. You know, Vernon. Uh, uh, thank you for being here, Vernon Nunn. And, of course, Kevin for joining us and telling us all about how crazy Republicans can get when they think their vote is being challenged. <laughs> anyway, every, I want all of you to give a big wave goodbye, and I will give a big wave goodbye back at you, okay? There they go, folks, okay? All right, and see, I'm completely out of sync, <laughs> right? Isn't it wonderful? Okay. Anyway, why am I out of sync? I have no idea. I can't figure it out. So, anyway, hey, listen, uh, Jack Bishop is next. He'll be here with the uh, uh, intersection. Uh, he'll be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow night, right back here uh, at uh, let's see here, 10:30 Eastern Daylight Time, same time. Same station in life, and in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.